<laughs> Easiest way to be bitten is if you grab it before it's ready. People drive by are probably like, what I know. the heck are they doing? One person came up and she turned around to come and confront me on what she thought was happening. So a common question that people ask is if we track the snakes that we catch at home so that we can see what happens to them. And the short answer is yes, we do in some places. So we have a project that we've been working on for the last seven years, of tracking rattlesnakes in their native environments to see which types of microhabitats they use and how that changes throughout the year. The second very important part of that is to take snakes that we're finding at homes and pit tagging them or seeing if they are pit tagged snakes so that we can see what happens to them to make sure our methods work out. So I'm going to meet up with Marissa to do some training so that she can do it herself in the future. Okay, we have four snakes to tag today. Them back. Speckled. Two speckles. What's going on? I have fun stuff for you. Tubes. Okay. Bunch of need of uh, tags, gloves. Okay. So, take a little production line here. I'll show you the way. <laughs> When I do it, all right. So there's one in the array. This is the spec that you dropped off at Eric's house. Okay, that night, okay. Yeah, so I have all of them, so I haven't released anything. Oh, okay. But they're all happy, they all got water and stuff. Yeah. There's a little bit. Uh, don't put your hand in there until it's halfway up. Okay. If it's right there, it can still come out. So if it's up, so that's too big to work with. Uh-huh. Right, so then you do that, and then you take a smaller tube, that's the actual size, it and put it in. Make sure you watch your fingers on this side. And that'll work. Any female that you think is gravid, mm -hmm. we're not going to tag. Okay. So just make sure to really check, palpitate. This is a male. And yeah, so where we're going to be putting a tag is underneath the rib cage in about here somewhere. Okay. Okay, so you're trying not to perforate, but back in this lower third, uh, you're not going to perforate any organs or anything up here. We don't want to put it just in the skin because it gets pushed out okay. pretty quickly. So underneath the ribs, around the side, just use one of these alcohol pads. Scrub it down. This thing is super sharp. Okay. So be careful. And it's already in there, locked and loaded. Yep, it is. That's what's good about these is like you 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 um, clean the side of the snake, okay. but then this is a one-time use syringe, so it's super clean. So where the ribs are, like right here along this edge, just mm -hmm. kind of feel where they're at, just to make sure everything's good. And you want to go right on the edge here, up against the scales like this. It's not gonna like it. You can feel a little pop. So Push. you went up, okay. Yep, yeah. about halfway, and it's gonna put it right there. Boop, and out. Sometimes there's a little blood, a lot of times there's not. Okay. Just like that. So this is up under the rib cage, that's never coming out of there. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna scan it. There it is. Yeah, just be careful because they come cru they come sailing out of there. Oh, I know. Yeah. There you go, good job, snake. What's that? So that's one. Hey there guys, it's a new day here in the North Valley. I'm making my way up to North Phoenix, headed to a uh, call for a Diamondback that is currently coiled next to their air conditioning unit. Hi. Hey, how's it going? The air conditioner yeah. is this way, around the corner. There's our AC unit, and there's a little bit of condensation buildup, which I'm sure he was drinking off of. Let's see, where is our culprit? Ah, uh, not in an obvious spot. Didn't see him. It was just a little bit ago. They he rattled at him. Gotcha. Seriously, you're brave. <laughs> I don't see him hiding here, so I'm good to duck down a little bit. Oh my god. Oh, there you are. Wait, you found him? Yeah. Where? Of course. He wants to be in here because it's nice and, and shady and away from the predator that's poking at him. So the last thing he wants to do is lunge at me. Come on, Come on, yeah. A little bit. There we go. It's a good hook rider. Does well. Come on, in the bucket. There we go. Once we got him out, it made it nice and easy, but. That was a little bit of a struggle getting him out from underneath that uh, unit there. Are you sure there's no more um, friends anywhere? Let me double check. Wait, put the lid on. 
Yeah, fair. I promise you he's not going anywhere once he's in here, but we'll uh, secure him just to be safe. And let me make sure that there's no friends hiding underneath here. Found this perfect little pack rat nest in here to release our little short stubby rattled diamondback here. But I forgot all my hooks in the car, so you're getting dumped, buddy. Sorry. Grow. Joy, freedom. One down, three okay. to go. I'll do one more, and then okay. have you do. Okay, it's a down back. Just be patient. That's the <laughs> easiest way to be bitten. Is if you grab it before it's ready, okay. or this this can take a little while sometimes for this stuff. Okay, here we go. Oh, look at that. Too big. Just careful when you get these big ones out here, you go like that, just watch where their head is. It's just a thing like, and this is a big thing too, is like if you're not feeling up to it, mm -hmm. you do not need it. Okay. Right? So if you're like, if you're tired, if you're anything other than like stoked Good. to do it, don't, <laughs> okay. don't do it. Okay. Right. This is a male. So obviously not gravid. Up and under. And then you go towards Yep, the little pop. Okay. Yep. Put it in. You don't have to put it all the way to the top, but I'm gonna make sure it's all the way in there. Boop. Okay. Out. Sometimes there's some blood, but it's good. Nothing there. Okay, yep. so scan. There it is. So it's on there. Okay, you wanna do one? Yeah. You guys are all happy they got some water and stuff. Good. Yeah, you got it. And then swap it. Like right there, right? Yep, that's perfect. But if people drive by are probably like, what I know. The heck are they doing? <laughs> Actually, do it. So I'm gonna go like right there. Yep. And yep. you went like kind of down. Down and then up and around. Here you go. If you feel a little pop, stick it in. Okay. That's it. Do you think you can do that? Yeah. Just like that? How did it go? <laughs> yeah, it was great. Okay. I mean, that's, that's pretty much all it is. Okay. Just the, the big part to really pay attention to is just like, don't pretend that it's the most dangerous thing in the world. Because it's such a different situation. Also, in the process of it, it gets hurt, right? Yeah. So it'll act like just pretend you've never handled a rattlesnake in your life. Okay. Just. And it'll be safe. <laughs> all fine. right. I got to go. Thank you. Okay. Do you want me to take anybody since I'm going? Do you want to take the, the specs? Yeah, I can take the specs. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Well, thank you. All right, it worked out. I will see you when I see you. All right, see you later. <laughs> Bye. Later. Yes. Oh. All right, well, that was fun. I'm glad we finally got to meet up and Brian was able to, to teach me how to tag the snake, so that was awesome. Uh, We've been meaning to meet up and do this actually for a few years now. Uh, but as you can see, the line gets busy, it starts ringing and we gotta leave. So it's really hard sometimes to meet up uh, because everyone is every part of the valley and it's just hard. We were trying to call. So I have the snakes. I have to tag one more at my house. All these specs were found in the pretty much exact same spot. So I'm gonna go relocate them all this evening. All right, Marissa just sent me a call somewhere in Carefree for a rattlesnake, I believe. Uh, it is 100 degrees on the nose right now, so this is when the fun begins. It sounds like a snake coiled up by the front door, which is going to be a pretty common theme for the next couple of months as snake's behavior shifts from trying to eat and, and uh, mate and all that to primarily just survive the summer here. And the covered front entryways that are a big part of uh, Arizona homes. It's kind of ideal. <laughs> that's not what they were planning on making, but that's what they made. Hello. Hey, how's it going? I have no idea oh, yeah. how long you've been there. Alright, yeah. So right now is that time of year that they want to be cool. Yeah. So north facing, 
I assume. Nice, uh, yeah. nice easy place to hide. That was an easy one. So it's kind of funny because this morning, um, Marissa ran a call to this exact same neighborhood. And I went to go meet Eric to go pick up a rattlesnake that I needed to pit tag. Um, and I needed to give Marissa some training. And it's it's really hard for us to meet up. Like, you might expect us all to be hanging out all the time and doing, I almost never see anybody. We never see each other because we're just so busy. And it's almost impossible to coordinate on like, hey, let's meet up somewhere. Because, you know, if you're gonna meet up with somebody for lunch, you need to have an hour to get there and then you have an hour to eat or whatever. The odds of multiple of us having an hour or two hours without the phone ringing to go get a snake, it's a, it's zero almost all the year. So we never see each other. So thought, okay, this is gonna be the opportunity to go do that. How about you finish up your inspection? I'll come out to you and uh, I'll go, we'll do training right there. We'll pick a wide spot on the side of the road and teach you how to do this pit tagging stuff. So we did that and I came out there and uh, we met up and had five rattlesnakes plus one in the bucket. Um, anyway, we're parked off the side of the road in this community and uh, people are driving by like, what are they doing? It's not just that there's a car here that says Rattlesnake Solutions on There's two cars that say Rattlesnake Solutions and there's buckets just lined up in front of us and I'm holding a rattlesnake in my hand in a tube safely, but I'm holding it and uh, this is getting a lot of attention, subtle attention, people driving by getting pictures to post up next door about our evil plans. Um, and uh, finally, right after Marissa left, uh, one person came up and I noticed her taking pictures of my car and I rolled down my window and waved to her. And I'm so glad that she turned around to come and confront me on what she thought was happening. Uh, she thought that, and I'm sure everyone else thought that, we had pulled up and we had buckets and buckets of rattlesnakes and we were dumping them off out here right outside their homes. Uh, no, nope, that's not what we're doing and I'm glad I was able to explain. Uh, and also explain that the security company here that does do that is operating illegally. So ended up being a good conversation, gave her my card. All good, hopefully our cars are not over the next door pages for this area. There's a nice big pack rat nest at the base of this tree, up off the edge of this wash a little bit, so it's not gonna flood out. And this is a perfect spot to release a snake like this. And he is ready to go. Or she. Oh man, I told him it was a male. It's a female. Because I wasn't paying attention. Really pretty snake. Easy going too, look at that. And actually, I think she is gravid. This is not just a snake, this is a pregnant rattlesnake. You can tell, look at that wide body. It's still a little early in the year for them to be showing very much, but she is. That is a pretty snake. Come on. That wide body right there. Can't go ahead. There she goes. Nice little tunnel. Well, I think that's my last one of the day. Tomorrow I'm heading up to Payson to go do an education event. And uh, I think I'm gonna stay up there and go look for Arizona black rattlesnakes, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm done working for the day. Now we need a tube by snake. Got everything there. Down. Up. Go. No blood. Boom. All right. Snake is done, thank you. How you doing there, bud? Thank you so much for letting me tag you. I know that probably wasn't what you wanted, but 
contributing to research. Appreciate it. Now I have uh, four speckled rattlesnakes to relocate. They were all found literally right by each other, so I can relocate them all pretty much in the same area. So I am going to do that this evening, uh, and I will take you all with me. All right, we got four snakes here. How are you guys doing? You ready to go home? They're ready to go home. I know. So I'm gonna put two right here and two just right over there. They are all found. Well, two were found together and the other two were like 50 meters from where the other ones were found. So they're all, they're all the whole gang's friends. So they're familiar with each other, I'm sure. So I'm gonna, this one, I think this is the female. There's a little hole there. All right, thank you, girly. All right, and then she was with one of the males. I honestly couldn't tell you which one, but you're the lucky, lucky gentleman. Get to go with her. There you are. See you later, little one. All right, now I'm gonna take the other two just right over here. Here, this one, up in there, okay. and we have this one ready to go. <laughs> right up. You can go up there, you can go down there, wherever you'd like to go. Where are you going? Oh, okay, I didn't even know that was a hole. That's not a hole. Let me help you out a little bit. I'll let you go right down there. Thank you, Specs, for contributing to our research. All right, we got four new Specs, a part of this study, and one Western Dimeback. That one's gonna get relocated by Brian because it's on a different mountain, uh, but really awesome. So happy I got to learn how to, to pit tag the snakes and, and uh, four Specs, it's uh, really awesome. And they're all found in the same area, literally like right by each other. I got three in one day. And then last night, I didn't even film. That's when I got the other one. Same place as I got the three, uh, but they caught it and put it in a bag because it was in the doorway uh, and people were walking by it and they were really afraid someone was gonna get bit. So they caught it for me and I just picked it up. Uh, but yeah, super cool. Uh, that, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, I'm glad I got to learn something new and I uh, got to hang out with four specs. So yes, that was awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.